This is my Buffalo Terra Station old NAS, but works nonetheless. And, um, oh, it could really use a, a clean in there. I've just woke up to realise, this is first thing in the morning, by the way, I'm filming this, that we've got a hard drive warning. For hard drive 2, having bad sexes. We've got the red light on here. We've got an error light, message light, and uh, it doesn't sound too good either. It's making some uh, noises that sound like the drive is definitely on its way out. So I need to resolve this. Now this has got four 500 gig drives in. Um, they're operating a RAID 5 array. I need to find another 500 gig drive from somewhere. Right now I'm going to um, pull out this number two that it says is faulty and see what it is. I'm not sure what make or model it is. Maybe it's a Seagate, maybe it's a Western Digital. Oh, it is a Western D Digital green 500 gig. So let me unplug this quickly. Right, so I've got the drive out now. Look at all that dust in there. There's another WD green. I think the others are probably greens as well. Let me double check. From here. I don't actually remember what I put in this thing. I know it was just a mix of whatever I had to hand at the time. That's the WD green 500 as well. At the bottom one. Maybe they're all WD green 500s. Oh no, this is a Seagate, definitely. About 100 gig, 7200 RPM Seagate. Pop this back in. There's a lot of dust in there. I'm gonna throw that in and shut this up. We need to find another drive for this now. Here is the drive out. This is old PC stuff wrote on it. This drive has actually seen quite a lot of abuse over the years. Uh, this was my main OS drive from probably 2007 or something like that. And uh, I don't really blame it for finally starting to go bad. <laughs> um, the only issue I have now is I'm pretty sure I don't have any WD green. This is my selection of drives I've got to hand that I know of. Uh, there's quite a mix in here. I mean, I've got like... I thought you just... 2006... This is probably like 160 gig, yeah. Let's get rid of that. This is a 300 gig Maxter. They were good drives at uh, back in the day when they were made. 300 gig WD Caviar. 200 gig WD Caviar. So these are all a little too small. So 160 gig Seagate. Oh, we've got a 500 gig Seagate here. SV35.5, whatever that is. And then under here we've got a 40 gig noisy Seagate. So, I think this is probably the best choice out of what's available. Alright, now I've got to fit this drive in here. Um, these are screw-in sleds, they're not the automatic, uh, like, clicking screwless ones that you get nowadays but the NAS is pretty old as well it only just supports gigabit ethernet and it, over gigabit ethernet you get about 120 megabit transfer speeds right, screws are out there's the drive sled oh look we've got a, uh, a thing in here which has come out of here that'll be from there where the dusty mark is that's to cover the uh, connector contacts on the board then the power doesn't short to the case for it. This drive is actually quite hot. I don't know how long it's been dead for. I'm hoping just overnight and that I've only it's only gone whilst I've been sleeping. Let's drop this drive in. I need to line this up now with the holes which is about right and I'll screw it in. Alright, the drive's in the sled thing now. 
Let's get it back in the nose and see what happens. The drive's spinning up. I guess that's a good sign. How do we clear this? Maybe I have to log into the uh, user interface to clear it. I'll go do that now. I hope this doesn't have another drive fail whilst it's rebuilding, because with RAID 5 you've only got one um, drive that you can afford to lose. I've actually got another NAS, which is this here Synology. This is a DS1815 Plus, I believe. Or it might be a 2018 Plus or something like that. It's got eight bays and two slots for expansion, uh, and this has got four WD Reds that are running in a uh, RAID 6. So there's actually eight terabytes of usable data and 16 terabyte of drives. I actually need to order another drive, and right now I'm going to go and order another four terabyte Red to stick in here to have as a hot spare. So if a drive fails in this, it will instantly start rebuilding. I mean, I can afford to lose two drives, but what happens if two go at once? I'm screwed. Anyway, back to the other NAS. Alright. On the computer. Finally, if it works out my password, and I'm in. Warning. Error has occurred on RAID 1. On RAID Array 1. RAID Array 1 is low disk space. We don't care about low disk space. Uh well, it is pretty low to be honest. Yeah. Um. Right. Maybe if we just click error has occurred, it'll give us something to do. Uh. It still thinks that that's a WD five hundred. Uh. Drive properties maybe. It's definitely not WD. Let me try and turn it off and on again. It takes a little while to shut down and turn on this thing. I'm hoping by shutting down it'll just realise the new disc and rebuild the array when it comes back on. Oh, okay, it seems to have gone into like a low power state. Messaging the error and the error light is still off. Let me unplug and replug the drive, maybe. Unplug and replug is still left it there. Let's just turn it back on. And the error may well clear. I hope. Okay, the red light just disappeared. Hopefully it will just set that as a new drive and automatically rebuild. The fans come on quite high speed. System now booting, it's about time. Link speed. Okay. Degraded mode. That's not the faulty from before, is it? Let me try it on the computer, I must definitely have to do it on the interface. Alright, back on the computer, let's have a look if we've got the new drive detected. There's a Seagate. Yep, we have a Seagate there now. So, in theory, if I check this and restructure, that should not take away all my data. I hope. Okay, and uh, now I need to put this code in. 63H2. Potential loss of data, I hope not. Starting rebuilding. Apparently, rebuilding the array is completed. Alright. Surely it can't have been that quick. <sighs> Come on. Such old hardware that it takes so long to load. Repairing RAID Array 1. Looks more promising. No, I mean, I probably could have done this with it still detecting the Seagate as a WD, but I don't want to take the chance, because, you know, chance of losing data and all that. 
there's already a chance of losing data if another drive packs up. 0.1% complete, 551.5 minutes. So we've got a long time to wait. Nine hours, like. Okay, it's been quite a long day. I'm now back home. Uh, the NAS seems fine. Now I've put that drive in. I'm hoping all my data's still on it. And uh, we're good to go, which I'm going to go in now. Check. Okay, I seem to have lost the clip where I look at what data was on the NAS and check it was still there. And it actually was. Uh, I mean, if I could go back and have a look now. Under here, Terra Station, we've got my Pro Tools and my finished videos. Because this is basically a second clone of my video content. So, like, we've got uh, car boot stuff here. Like, this is one of my other videos of my channel. See, I'm not streaming it often as. So, yes, it did work. It rebuilt successfully and all the information is still on there. And to this day it's working fine. You may have noticed earlier on in the video that there was a date on the screen, which was when I actually filmed this video. The 16th, of, uh, the 17th of the 6th, 2016. It's now the 28th of the 11th, 2016. So I've left this quite a while before getting around to editing it. Apologies for that. But the NAS is still working okay to this day, touch wood. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you found it interesting or helpful in any way, please leave a like down below. If you've got the same NAS and you have problems with it, comment down below. I'll try and help you if I can. And uh, subscribe for more random secchi videos.